Hi, I'm Red Point with Quad Questions. Today we're going to talk about the gear you need to fly FPV drones. Here's some of my footage that we got on a recent trip to New Zealand and Tahiti and is what you can expect to accomplish with the right gear and practice. In a nutshell, we're going to talk about transmitters, goggles, batteries, and drones. These are all the items needed to fly. So first thing you need is a drone. We recommend the QQ190 ready to fly racing drone to start, as it's the perfect way to enter the hobby. Now the QQ190 requires no soldering for repairs. It has top of the line gear on board and is fully loaded. Other options out there include other ready to fly quads, which aren't really race ready or you can always build your own if you have the time. The next step is to get batteries. This drone, amongst others, uses the commonly available LiPos packs that are available pretty much at all drone shops. We recommend a 1300 to a 1500 mAh 4S battery that are at least 45C in rating. I suggest three to four packs when you're first starting out so that you can have at least a 45 minute flying session. One battery lasts about four to six minutes, which in FPV time is a really long time. But when you account for setup, switching packs out, changing props, and talking with those around you, you can make three to four packs last quite a while. Most LiPos cost around $20 to $40 a piece. You also need a LiPo charger, because these batteries aren't like your typical flashlight batteries. They have a strict charging and discharging requirements that need to be followed. Next thing you need is a radio controller. There are several ways you can go here. My first suggestion would be to go with something like the TBS Tango, because it has a screen with FPV included on the radio. This means, as a beginner, you can start right away without having to purchase goggles, which can be a big investment. We really like the Tango because of its ease of use and the fact that you could swap out modules and upgrade as you go. It doesn't have an internal radio system, so you have to get a radio system to go with the Tango. We recommend the FR Sky XJT module to start, which adds about $30 to the cost of the Tango. Other radio choices include the FR Sky Tyrannus, which is good for more advanced users. It has an internal radio system, so you don't need any extras. There are others out there, but these are some of our favorites. In order to tell your quad what to do, the radio requires a receiver. I use an FR Sky S bus receiver because they get awesome range and max channels in a really small package. Next thing we want to talk about is an FPV viewing system. The Tango has an FPV screen built in, but really, if you're serious, you should get good goggles. You can't fly well if you can't see well. I recommend the Fat Shark's Dominator V3s or the HD V2s. The V3s are more than adequate, however, the HGs give you just a little bit extra viewing quality. Good goggles will run you at least $300. There are other options out there, but they don't give you the immersiveness that some of the Fat Shark goggles do. So that about covers the basics to get you started on your way to being an FPV pilot. point reminding you that anyone can fly. So please subscribe, comment, and like our videos so we can keep bringing content your way. Thanks guys.